I'm Leslie Sykes, and this is Eye on L.A. You're watching Eye on L.A. So you've shopped on Melrose at the Beverly Center at South Coast Plaza, but have you ever purchased a painting or bought a belt from the top of a parking garage? Wait till you see the unique finds we uncovered on a rooftop in Hollywood. You know, it's nice to sit up here on the rooftop. It's uh, cool, it's not hot, and you have a lot of hip people out here. You have a live DJ, you have the Hollywood sign behind you. So it's a very unique uh, atmosphere and venue, and I think it's, it represents LA, it represents Hollywood. Every Saturday between noon and 5 p.m., this parking garage off Sunset Boulevard transforms into a rooftop bazaar, known appropriately as Peddler on the Roof. We've got 1,100 parking spots. We're up on a roof with great views. I've got awesome vendors. More than 70 vendors peddle their wares, ranging from art and home accessories to one-of-a-kind clothing and exotic jewelry, like these Kazuri beads made by women from self-help groups in Kenya. And it's a project that was started in the 70s, and they took about seven women out of an impoverished community and taught them the craft of how to make the beads. And from there, today, we have about 80 women who are employed by Kazuri. The beads are molded from clay, then burned, glazed, and painted by hand. The Charleston bead, this is actually a very new style that just came out. You know how the big beads are now um, fashionable. Coco Banks, a native Kenyan, says the artist would be thrilled to know their jewelry is sold from the rooftops of Hollywood. And they are such simple women with very big hearts, and they just, the way they see these beads, it's really, it's just their handiwork, you know, and they're like, well, these are just beads. And for just $20, this colorful Kenyan Kikori can be worn as a skirt or creatively knotted into a strapless top. It's a beautiful color on you. They're not just really lamps. They're, they're a piece of art. These one-of-a-kind, shadeless sources of light start at $250. The lamps are made by hand with materials found at flea markets and rummage sales. They're all vintage, with the exception of the brass base. Artist Cheryl Defoe did away with the lampshade and created interchangeable socks made from Swarovski crystals. They slip over light bulbs, creating reflections. At night, you get all of these great shapes on your ceilings and your walls. It's really beautiful at night as well. Either leave these hanging. Oh, that's very cute. Or do another, do another layer like this. Just around the corner, these reversible suede leather belts go for $65. The belts come in a variety of reversible colors with satin ribbons, stones, and crystals. Turn on this one. This, 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 one is, this one is one of my best sellers. Shopping at Peddler on the Roof is also a great opportunity to discover up-and-coming fashion designers like Demerlin Castell from Honduras. His jackets and long sweaters cost three to four hundred dollars and are inspired by styles from long ago. It's from the 1200s. All the designs are from the 1200s. Demerlin Castell says his large, whimsical collars and sleeves make his clothes unique, as well as his unusual choice of fabrics. It's beautiful. Thank you. The patterns are beautiful and the colors are great. And it's just pieces of a fence or something like that, and I just find that a lot more fun for me to work with than just a plain canvas. Carmen Aveyara uses recycled materials, usually items she finds here and there, to create art inspired by pop culture. I love tin and uh, a lot of times I would end up with tiny little scraps and I couldn't part with them. So this is about the tiniest thing I could think of to make with them. It's really cool, interesting, original stuff. So if you've had it with the mall or on the hunt for a one-of-a-kind gift or just want to take in some views, hit the rooftops of Hollywood. Now to the next big little...